UMass Boston softball kicking off the home side of their schedule on Friday afternoon, taking on Emmanuel College from Massachusetts. And the Beacon offense would get on the board first. Caitlin Sawyer with an RBI single to right field makes it 1-0 in the second inning in favor of the Beacons. But the Saints would get that run back in the third as Lila Niederberger steals second base in the errant throw by Tam Landry. Scores Sammy Hayes and the Beacons now tied up with Emmanuel College at 1-1, but their offense would roll from there as Sophie Richland, who had three hits in game number one, scores Lauren Bethia to make it a 2-1 ball game. And Bree Melchionda on the mound gets a big strikeout in the fifth inning with the bases loaded to keep the game at 2-1. And the Beacons would provide her with a cushion at the plate as Bethia would come up in the fifth inning with a big RBI ground out to make it a 3-1 to one ball game. And then Melchionda helps her own cause out in the sixth inning as she's going to get a two-run double here. Beacons go up 5-1 to one and they're going to end up rolling to their 10th win of the season. Move to 10-2, and two, which brought them closer to the best start in program history as Melchionda pitched an impressive seven innings, giving up just one run unearned on three hits, four strikeouts, in five walks, the Beacons looked to continue rolling in game two with Emily Doble on the mound, but it would be the Saints who got on the board early and often against her as Megan Amsler hits an RBI single to score a run, and the Saints are up one nothing in the first, and then Niederberger with an RBI double in the second inning makes it a 2 to nothing ball game. but the Beacons would respond in this one in the fourth inning with three unanswered runs to take their first lead of the day. Lauren Bethia, the two RBI single to right field, scores two. We're tied up. Bethia had a good day in game two, two for three with two RBIs, and she scored as well, which would be in that fourth inning as Sophie Richland comes to the dish, and she knocks another RBI single up the middle. Beacons now up three to two. There would be some star-studded plays in this game as well as Amari English avoids a run from scoring here. She comes up throwing on the single to right field and retires the runner at home as Sawyer lays down the tag for the second out of the fifth. And then Sophie Richland in the sixth inning, a big put out with a runner on third and two outs, makes the play in left field. So the Beacon's still up three to two. And then we would see a star-studded player on the Saints make a play as it would be Olivia Conti at shortstop making a big diving play here against Caitlin Sawyer comes up with it with a runner on first and two outs and the Saints trailing by just one going into the last inning and they would make the most of it as Niederberger on the RBI sack bunny you see the throw down in time runner comes in to score and Conti were tied all up at three and then Amsler another RBI single Gives the Saints a 4-3 lead, so they take control of the game once again. In the bottom half of the seventh, the Beacons would have two on with two out, and Lauren Miner would go down swinging. So the Beacons fall in game two of their doubleheader, fall to 10-3 and three on the year, and they head into a four-game road trip starting with Suffolk University on Thursday afternoon with a doubleheader at 3-5 and five o'clock.